Let's start with the first one. The Beach Street Lighting. Shall the Town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $100,000 for the purpose of installing new decorative light street lighting in Hampton Beach on C, D, and F streets and on Ashworth Avenue, including all engineering, design, procurement, shipping, delivery, and installation costs, together with all related pertinences and activities necessary or desirable to complete the purposes of this article. With the sum of $100,000 to come from the unassigned general fund balance, a fund containing unexpected, unexpended appropriations from prior years as of December 31st, 2017, and no additional amount to be raised from taxation in this year. This will be a non-lapsing appropriation per RSA 32 colon 7 comma 6 and shall not lapse until the work is completed or by March 31st, 2020, whichever is sooner. Majority vote required, no tax impact. No, decorative lighting was installed in 2009 on A and B streets as well as part of Ashworth Avenue in accordance with plans in the possession of the town. The underground conduit already is in place on all of the Ashworth Avenue and all of the leaded streets with only wiring and decorative street lighting needing to be installed. A new lighting, the new lighting that was installed has greatly improved visibility and safety on the streets where lighting was completed. The old commercial street lighting was disconnected and removed and utility bill, billing for the commercial street lighting has been terminated for those streets. Recommended by the Board of Selectmen, five to zero. Do I have a motion from anyone here? I'll make a motion that the Budget Committee approves this Warren article. Okay, Regina has made a motion. Anybody want to second that so that we can have discussion? I'll second it. Okay, Steve Henderson has seconded. Okay, discussion, please. I, I do want to mention one thing. The... Um, the conduits that this talks about were put into place back when they, the town did the, um, the sewer yeah. upgrades at the beach. The village district actually had a bond at the time for, mm. it was 400 and something thousand dollars to put the conduits under the sidewalks. And at the time, um, they had a the village district had something going on with the town that a, a, a very small percentage was put into a, a capital fund every year from the uh, money raised from the parking lot. And that money accumulated, and that was to um, do s several of these types of projects, one being the street lights and then perhaps other things later on. At some point, that was changed, and the... <coughs> the amount was then given to the rec department. But just a little bit of history to let you know. <coughs> the village district had planned on this long, long time ago to put these lights in, and I'm really happy to see that the town is now... They did uh, an, a couple of the streets a few years ago with some money that was in an account, and they went as far <coughs> as they could, and now they're going to do a little bit more, and I think this is wonderful because little by little, we chip away at these things, and before you know it, it's done. So having said that, um, any... Anybody would like? Oh, Sonny, yes. Yeah, you know, we walked in, and we got, you handed us four or five packets. You know, we, um, I haven't had a chance to even look at them. I, this is you know, the first we, time I've read it. That's why, uh, you know, yeah, well, right. you I'm stumbling read a little it. bit. Yeah, who are we going to let? Well, well, if you, I don't know if you watched the selectmen's meeting, but these were discussed openly. No, I didn't, the, I didn't watch. Okay, it was two weeks ago time. on a Monday that they actually went through each of these yeah, articles. No, and understand. that's the only reason I'm even yeah. I'm aware of them. No, okay? I realize that you just got them now. They, I had mentioned before that they were draft when the, when the selectmen went over them. They had to then go to the legal department to be finalized, and that's what we now have in our hands, the ones that were uh, available. These aren't all of them, by the way. These are just the ones that are available. A lot of these in the stack... I think that you'll see, once we start going through them, are ones that we see every year. The conservation land acquisition, um, the, let me see, hazardous waste collection, human service agencies. Um, the, there, there are some of them here. You're going to notice 
they're the same ones we do every yeah, year. Yeah, no, I understand, okay. but I mean, you know, without having an opportunity to look at the stuff and see if there's questions, well, how can you really vote? True. Yes, sir. I, 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 think, I think the town would be well served if the chairman were to entertain a concept that if any of these Warren articles that come before us tonight are controversial among the members, that we can table it to a subsequent meeting. But I find that probably, in my own opinion, several of these Warren articles we could deal with tonight. Mm -hmm. If there are questions that need to be addressed that are important to how you vote, then we should raise those in the discussion so that we could get feedback in a subsequent meeting and vote on it at that time. So that way we could handle this most expeditiously. All right. I think that I appreciate your suggestion, and I don't have any problem with that. And as I said, some of these we should be able to buzz through. Some of them are a little bit complicated. I'll agree with that. And so the only question I have on this particular Warren article is we've mm -hmm. lived without the de so-called decorative lights on these streets uh, for what, eight years since we first started installing them. And, and I don't know why this year is a magical year to do it as opposed to last year or next year. Personally, I find that when we stop doing it, the decorative lights on A and B Street were not considered all that decorative to begin with, and not worth the exercise. Uh, at least that's what I've heard uh, when I talk to people about those lights. And so I'm kind of surprised to see this uh, here. And uh, even though it's coming from the unassigned, and it says general fund balance, I believe it should say unassigned fund balance, right? Um, even with the correction of that, I find that, you know, we shouldn't be just uh, you know, pulling money out of the unassigned fund balance for things that we can live without, given our financial stress that we have with so many other things going on in this town. So that's all I have to say on that. Thank you, Mr. Chen. Yeah. You're welcome. Uh, Hold on, Sonny. Hold on, Steve. Yeah, my recollection was when this was originally done, the sidewalks and the sewer project, that that's why they do the conduit underground. They were supposed to have done the lighting at that point, but due to some unforeseen circumstances that came upon the construction and some issues that they ran into uh, doing the project, they had to cut back some funds, and that's why the lighting didn't take place. But it was supposed to have originally been done. That's why the conduit and everything was all set to do it. Right. On a safety issue, I mean, it does light up those side streets and probably helps, uh, you know, light them up. Sometimes I, I go through there, and I think they're a little bit tight, and they could have probably put one every other one and the way they are. But, hey, I'm not an engineer in that, that process. But, you know, having more lights down there lighting up those side streets on the beach isn't a bad thing for safety reasons. Like I said, the conduit is underground. It was supposed to be done in the original plan, and for one reason or another, overruns took place, and that's why it didn't take place. If I could get you to yield. Um, I don't have a problem with lighting the streets. I think lighting the streets in general is a great idea. They're basically needed. Uh, but do they need to be decorative, first of all? And when we, we're talking about C and D and F streets. I mean, there are several other streets on the beach that need lighting. And if, if we don't spend money on decorative lights, which are considerably more expensive, I understand, we could actually add more streets to get lit with more traditional lights, maybe go to um, even less, even more energy efficient lights, perhaps. But uh, the decorative lights that are there in A and B Street uh, are not considered by many, including myself, to be worth the money, the extra money, the, the so-called decorative aspect that brings Thank you. Yeah. Well, I think the one issue that comes up, though, is you've already done Highland Ave, you've already done some of the side streets, so now what do you do? Do you change these things over and put new ones in and start from scratch? I mean, the first thing is great. Do what the state did. I mean, you really go to LEDs as a way to go if you really want to save energy, et cetera, you know, more light and right. less energy, and that probably would be the way to go. Maybe they can put LED bulbs in these. I'm not sure, but that's probably the way to go. Okay, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, Mr. Welch. Are they going to put LED lights into these globes? The new lights that will be put up will be LEDs, and the old lights as they burn out will be changed to LEDs. Thank you very much. See, that's what we need to know. That's a key to this whole thing. This, and all of, the, all of the streets, Tim, have street lights. They don't have a lot of light because these are going to, especially with those LED lights, it's going to really light that up. And, I, and the thing is that I might be wrong, but they don't, do they run them year-round? Yes. They do. Okay. 
Well, you know, it's there's no. I think that having lights on at night is probably a very good thing. One hundred percent agree. I walk okay. those streets. And, I know. And Tim, and they aren't. They're, they're going to be decorative to match the others, but they're going to be LEDs, which to me is that we're bringing it up to the you know twenty seventeen, and that's a great thing, I think. Uh, David, please. What is decorative lighting? I've been in Hampton for 37 years. I don't think I've been down A Street and B Street at nighttime, but I go through the center of town at Christmas and I see all the decorative ornaments and things of that nature. Okay, Those Christmas well, lights. Uh, that I know. Okay, David. So let me finish and don't interrupt. Yeah, go ahead, David. Now, when you're doing that, so therefore, I'm, have, I'd like to have an example. So if it was me, I'd abstain because I like to go down there at nighttime and see what they look like lit up. So I'm not aware of the difference between a regular light and what you're talking about and a decorative light. Okay, I can explain that a little bit. Um, you have a street light that's attached to a telephone pole that's probably 30 feet off the ground. Right. Okay. You're aware of those. Him well, across on, the street from my house. On, good. Right. On Church Street and also Highland Ave and now on A, B, and Patacy and a little bit of Ashworth around the beginning there um, are these what we're going to call decorative lights. They're a street light. They're on a pole. They have a round globe on the top. They're probably 15 or uh, not more than 20 feet tall. And the, the conduit under the road is already there, so they, they already know how far to space them apart. This was at the time, years ago, when they did all of the sidewalks and they did all of the I'm so trying to understand that. And uh, even the, the conduits. I, I understand what conduits are. No, 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 no. But I, the reason I'm pointing that out is that, um, Steve, you mentioned that they don't. They look like they could be spread out differently. At the time, a professional engineering company laid all that out, the sidewalks, the roads, everything else, and including the conduit. So um, they they were put where they could be put. They can't be put in the middle of somebody's driveway. So they, <laughs> you know, they have to put them because they're on the sidewalk. They're not up in a pole. They're on the sidewalk coming up through, you see. May, may I suggest? Wait, are you, does that answer your question? Partially. I'd like to know how much light they throw compared to a regular street light versus a decorative light. A lot. They throw I, more I, light? Fred, could you answer that? Several times. More. Several times more illumination. Right. right. It's like daytime down there when these things are on. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it really it is. It is. So gonna be. And you could go down there, drive through any time. Any time it's dark. I will. Church Street, I Highland, will. you're going to see them. Yeah, if you would please. Is yes. that no? Is that enough, David? Anyone? Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Um, May I suggest we table this so David has an opportunity to drive down A and B Street? Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that's necessary, Tim. But hold on just a minute, Sonny. Yeah, is there? This is just the beach. The hundred thousand. Is there? Lafayette, another Warren article? Because I assume they weren't. Well, I just started on the top with the yeah. first no, page. I haven't understand. gone down through yet. So. so, well, I live in the Highlands, and maybe we should propose a Warren for decorative lighting. You know. Well, this was something, Sonny, that was agreed upon <laughs> okay. many years ago. Yeah. No, okay. I, this I isn't understand a, that. This isn't a plan that they just come up with. I, I'm actually well kind of yeah. following through with something that was supposed to have been done years yeah. ago. It just wasn't yeah. finished. But it can be finished if the voters in this town no. decide to yeah. pass this warrant article. Okay? I'm well aware. You know, Bob Lad's not here today. He's a representative from the beach, so, you know, you know the answers as well. So, okay. Yeah. I think that um, I'm comfortable voting either up or down on this. Tim, I don't see that we need to table this so David can get down and <laughs> no, look at it. No, there's no reason to table um, I think that we can, uh, yes, but I think we can take a vote on this, so. either recommend it or not recommend it. If it doesn't get recommended this, by this board, it doesn't mean that committee. the people, this committee, it means that this is going to go before, it'll, it'll pass off of our table, and it'll go before the voters who are going to decide what's going to happen with yeah. that, this Warren article, okay? So I'm comfortable voting on it tonight. I don't think that we need to table it. No, no, nobody's proposing to table it. It's just... Okay. You know, Anybody else have any comments on this particular Warren article? Well... Brian, oh, I'm sorry, Jenny. I'm sorry, Brian. Go ahead. Brian, go ahead. Um, it just seems to me there's more here than needs to be fixed than what we're seeing here. Explain. Um, the west side of um, Ashworth. Ashworth hasn't been done. 
um, because they ran out of money. You're talking about sewers? Yeah. No, I'm talking about the lighting, lighting. for oh. as far as this goes. Okay. Um, and I don't think all the leaded streets have been completed either. No. That's what, see, they did A and B. This is going to do a little bit more. It's going to do C, D, and F. Okay. Right. So this isn't going to complete the project. This is something that's going to be ongoing for many years. We may not see this one article next year at all. Uh, I, I can't say, but it's here right now. And so um, the selectmen have decided to put this forth. They voted 5 to 0 in favor of it. And, and so this is where we are. Sonny, you had, are you done, Brian? Uh, well, I just wanted to to say that uh, it'd be nice to know where are we and you know when can we finish? Well, because I think there's a lot more money that's going to be put into this whole project. Oh, to finish it, of course, but we're only going to get a little bit further along doing this, and if we bite off little pieces at a time, over a few years it'll be finished completely. So, okay, okay. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Sonny? Yeah, well, you know, the budget committee represents the taxpayers in the town, you know, and you know, we can just rubber stamp what the Board of Selectmen have done. That's really all we can do tonight. I don't plan to do that. I plan well, to vote yes or no. If I believe in something, I'll vote yes. If I don't believe in it, I'll vote no. What the Selectmen have done no, uh, is the, they're the select board. What we do is what we do. So you vote your conscience, okay? You don't have to vote yes. You don't have to vote no. You don't have to vote at all. You can abstain. But um, I think that we have to move this. Our job is to move this so that the legislative body can vote on it and they can decide if they want to spend the money, okay? We're not deciding tonight whether this is going to be spent or not. We're just deciding if it's I'm going well to go the voters will whether we want to recommend it. Okay, to the legislative body. Okay, yes, Tim. I think we all agree that street lighting deters illegal activity, right? As well as promotes safety in general, right? And it can look decorative and nice as well. It might improve. Yeah, it's the kind of a side thing, though. Yeah. The main function is to deter illegal activity and promote safety by being allowing people to be able to see what's going on. That's what. Uh, which then begs the question, which streets are the least safe down at the beach? Which streets have the most illegal activity going on? Um, is it these streets, or is it like G Street, or some other street? I think we all know that it's, these are not the most uh, problematic streets down the beach. Yes, Regina. I think probably the reason why it's these streets is just chronological. But you know, we did Highland, we did A, we did B. I so next would be think C, that D, that F. Could make sense. I think that but makes sense. Mm -hmm. I think that's why those streets are chosen. Okay. Also, a good point you brought up, uh, Tim. But I would say that D and F are probably two of the busiest streets on the beach. D is along the side of McDonald's. F is along the side of uh, well, it used to be Old Pappy's or whatever. But as far as uh, traveling and. Uh, Amount of cars and with the casino and etc. Those are two of the busiest streets on the beach, D and F. Yeah, but E has a parking lot there with That's lights. Not, not e, e has not E. There's, there's no E, Tim. There is no I'm E. Sorry. C. You get D along sorry. McDonald's. C is the one prior, and then you have C. F C has a parking Pappy lot uh, next to it, which is lighted. And that, that C spot. would be where Playland is. Yeah, exactly. So it's it's pretty it's pretty open. Um, and D also is, uh, you know, it joins uh, the casino, casino's and parking lot, which is open and lighted. In the village district. So it's getting it's getting well. ambient light from that as well. Right. But um, that, that's a, that is a very busy, you're on both sides maybe of busy, the... but it, 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 it is fairly well lit uh, by, by its own nature, uh, because much of it is, much of the property is not built on. So there's not a lot of shadows or anything like that going on, and it's not highly congested. Although they are busy, and maybe they're busy because it's not highly congested. I don't know. But I think the problematic streets are more along the lines of G Street. Okay. Uh, Jenny, go ahead. What do you call the balance that's left after you have all your revenues, 
you minus all your expenses and you decide which how much money is going back to the tax base. What's that called? What's that fund called? I believe it's the unassigned uh, designated uh, general fund. Unass unassigned balance. Uh, which is what they're saying right here, right? Yeah, no. And it does not affect the tax rate they're saying on this Warren article. Well, if you put it to reduce the taxes, yes, it does in fact mm -hmm. um, affect the tax rate. Correct. Well, Hold on, okay. Okay. You're absolutely. If I, you want me to explain it a little sure. bit to the best of my knowledge, and if I'm wrong, then the town manager could correct me. Yeah. Okay. So we raised a certain amount of money last year from a budget that was approved by the legislative body. Yes. Okay. And now we're at the end of the year. We're in December, yes. and we have some money that wasn't spent. Okay? Right. So, let's call that the unassigned balance. Because we couldn't, I don't want to call it a surplus because that's the name that a lot of people sometimes use, but let's just call it the unassigned balance. It's things that we have this money, but we don't have something to spend it on at the moment. So the town could say, okay, we've got X amount of money and we're going to apply it to reduce the amount in taxes, which is what they did. You may remember the selectmen voted just recently when they set the tax rate. Okay, mm -hmm. the, to take six hundred and something thousand dollars out of that fund, correct, Christy, mm -hmm. and right. apply it to help keep the uh, the town manager's plan of having a flat, keeping the tax rate flat over a number of years. Okay, and which is a very good plan. Now, the, with something like this, if they were to say, all right, this, we have a hundred thousand here. Instead of moving forward with this, a little bit at a time, chipping away at this uh, project, we could give the hundred thousand dollars back to the entire town of Hampton. So you'd get one dollar, okay, probably, or maybe a dollar fifty or something. I'm, I'm just using a number. Right. You're not going to get a hundred dollars back because it's not enough money when you look at the amount of money that we spend. It's very. It's like a little drop in the bucket. I I know that a hundred grand's a hundred grand, but yeah. it isn't all that much money. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, in the big picture, so a hundred grand here, a hundred grand there. Well, Pretty soon it adds up to real money. <laughs> okay. Okay. But three, it would be three cents that you would get back. Okay. I'd rather see the lights go up. I'd, I'd rather see this chipped away at a little bit at a time. But Jenny, that's the amount you'd get back. Three cents. Okay. okay. So, it, does that answer your question? Three cents per thousand. Three cents on the tax rate. Right? Okay. Okay. I, we, right we now, need to right right now, clarify that. Yes. Yes. For so that. This year, it was every hundred thousand that you gave back, it reduced the tax rate by three cents, I believe. Per okay. hundred thousand. Per hundred thousand. Okay. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Mr. So Chairman. You, can buy, you won't even be able to buy a cup of coffee, but... It depends on where you buy your coffee. Hold, hold on. Sonny, you had your hand up. No, let him go first. Please, David. <clears throat> From what I've heard, I definitely believe <coughs> proper lighting on all parts of the town, period. That's bottom line. In doing that, one of my questions would be, now they're not a little bit about decorative lighting, but if you put regular lighting in, in this, which is if it's needed that much at this particular street, I'd have a certain plan on which streets need to be done and which ones are the darkest. That's number one. The second thing I would do is I'd find out, well, gee, if I do this with this type of light, are there any ones that work just as well, but that more more economical to purchase? So this might be decorative, but I'm making this up, by the way, like you make them up. <laughs> yeah, of course. And it could be like twice as much money for this light it is for a regular street light that's on a pole outside my house. I'm making that up. So I'd like to look at the comparisons of cost of the light so we can get the most bang for our buck. Do we need the lighting? Yes. Should we do lighting? Absolutely, yes. But I just... At the bottom, just saying 100000 is objective what the other people had over the last five years. I, I, I struggle okay. with that. Now, I might be wrong, and the, the town manager can correct me if I am incorrect about saying this, but you see, the street light that's up on the pole, we don't own that. That belongs to the electric company, Fred. That's right. And then we pay, we pay per <coughs> month for every one of those, and they're not cheap, because, and I know that for a fact, because... I have to pay for a couple of them down at the beach myself, the ones that are up in the poles. They're not cheap. 
So you're going to see a separate line item. We haven't gotten that far in this budget yet, but you're going to see one for street lighting, and it's a lot of money. Now, these these you're not lights that me any metrics. No, no, no. This is a lot. That's lights, a lot. This is a little. It means nothing to me. These lights that we're putting up, the town will load, correct? Is that That's it? correct. Okay, and they're going to be LED lights, so they're going to be fine. very efficient. LED leads are fine, but they're different poles. My 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 general question is: Am I looking for a new car? Or the the town the, the town uh, maintenance department needs a new uh, dump truck. They look around and they try to get the best money for the economy for where our needs are. And all I'm suggesting is these might be good, and they might be LED lights, which I believe in 100 percent. But my question is: Is there a, is like a comparison bid? Pretend three contractors want to come in here and bid on these lights. You compare one versus the other. Would you, I'm just seeing here just some hundred thousand. We're going to do these streets. And you know what? I might be wrong, David, but I believe that what would happen is if this Warren article passed next March, okay, um, Fred, do you have to encumber those funds now? No, no, we need to them. That's when they're expended. Okay, so at that point, I'm sure that the town of Hampton would go out and bid this job. Okay, and get the best bid that they could, the most bang for the buck, and it, they would go as far as they could with $100,000 with a vendor that would install them, and that's how that would go. That's how it, <clears throat> and they'd get as far as they can, and then they might get <coughs> back a year from now, two years, ten years from now, and say, now we want to do a few more streets. I don't know what the future's going to bring, but this is what we have in front of us right here. I'd like to see that we should have some of these figures for us because we're voting on budget stuff. Theoretically, voting on, on agreeing with an amendment for a warrant, whether we agree or not. It's going to go up as a warrant. I understand that. And the voters should vote on that. I understand that. And if the selectmen will find zero, I understand that. But I'm not going to make a decision upon I haven't looked at it. If I was going to buy a car, I wouldn't have other people buy it for me. Well, I'd like to know a little bit more beforehand. Okay. And I'm not getting that information outside of generic statements. So okay, I can't now, make a good decision. Hold on, Tim. Okay, you can't make a good decision. Now, further on down here, we're going to be talking about drainage and appropriate, raise and appropriate $80,000. And I don't see a list here of all the pipes they're buying and, uh, and how each joint's going to fit together to something else. Um, I don't know if we need that level of detail, okay? If you feel that you do, if you're not comfortable with this with voting for this, then vote no. I that's I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Am I wrong with this? I, so. no. I mean, you know, we can discuss this one thing all night if you want to keep going back and forth in this. But we can also vote on it. Okay, go ahead, Tim. And we're not going to table every single one of these uh, because uh, we. When are we going to get to them? I'm, I'm not suggesting anything. I'm. Sup I simply want to point out that we can either table it with questions to be pending to be answered, or we can vote on what is. Put in front of us. Well, we can ask that's, the questions that's, that's, right now. Ask the questions to Fred. Ask your question. What do you? What, how much of a breakdown them. do you want? You just heard them. I've got a question. Oh, hold on, hold on, Mr. Welch. Please. They have so many questions that need answering. We need your professional help, please. Well, I don't know about the professional help. I did used to run an electric utility, so I guess I know a little. You might bit have about a little more lighting. knowledge than us. Uh, first of all, the conduit that was installed is in series, so you're going to have to do streets as they run down because you have to wire them that way right. uh, and you have to put the lights up in order to, to, to run the system. <clears throat> so you've got to go starting with this particular warrant article with uh, C, D, and F streets and then you can go on to G and so on and so forth down the road. Um, these lights will be owned by the town. The lights that are up there now are owned by the utility company and we have no right to attach their poles. They're the only ones that have the right to put street lighting up. So if you want to keep their lighting, which is less efficient than this lighting, then please go ahead and do that. Uh, incidentally, if their street lights burn out, we still pay for them, whether they're operating or not. That's just one of the little hitches that they have in their utility billing rates. <laughs> it's, it's a great system. So they all don't work, and we, we, we keep can. I'm exaggerating with the example. Now, well, we have lights out all, all over town occasionally. I mean, they, they burn out occasionally. Right. And we do pay for those until the electric utility can change them, and they'll change them when we call them. So we have to send somebody out at night to make a listing of where the poles are so they can, we can give it to them and they can come change them. I will say Fred, that... Fred, what do we pay the unit to for the, for the lighting? 
a couple hundred thousand dollars a year. Okay. They, did, they did have one of the lights in front of my house burn out, and I would have to say I was overly impressed with the owner toll because the next day or the day after, they had a new one in. Uh, they, they were they, great on service. So. They, they're good, uh, and they probably had a street light patrol that week, so that's sunny, why they changed sunny. I called them out. Sunny, yeah. sunny. You called them, they come out. Yeah. Sunny, through me, okay? okay? Not just a free-for-all. David, you still have the floor. You have more questions for, for Fred? Well, you said they're more economical, and it's again, it's a generic term. What's more economical? Two percent less, ten percent less, hundred percent less. You know, there, there's other things that go into it by just generic statements. And I, I like to look at one street light and see what it costs or whatever. We can do that. Your your <coughs> your street light's going to be up there. You're going to pay for it for fifty years because the amortization is fifty years on the street lights. It's a general rule. So if you take that street light down early, you're going to pay the balance of the 50 years amortization. Now you talk about the you, utility street light? Or yes, talking? I'm talking about the utility street light. So when these go in, the other ones are coming down, is that They're correct? coming down as part of the agreement with the utility. That was all done back when the, the, the beach streets were put together and redone and the sidewalks were done and the, the piping was put in for the sewer and the, the new water lines were put in and so forth. Um, so we're getting we're getting a good deal with this because yeah do we have to pay a little bit of depreciation yes but we don't have to pay the entire thing they're really good with us on that um, the intention here is to better light those streets and uh, if you go down there at night and it's a dark night you're going to have difficulty seeing because those lights are 30 or 40 feet in the air and they don't shine and light those streets up very well there some of them are pretty dark so this would solve that problem. Uh, I think we're changing six lights currently on uh, Church Street uh, that are currently out, and we just we just hired someone to go in and put LED fixtures in those uh, bulbs in those, so that we can we can put those back in service. Uh, the rest of the lights that we own are, are standard, regular, incandescent lighting. Okay, but it's, it's extremely bright. It, it does light up the street very well. Uh, this is really from the standpoint of a utility. This is a lot of savings to the town <laughs> over a period of time. Uh, this is similar to what you would have with, with, with a municipal light department, your street lighting, which is very, very cheap. Uh, the utility makes a substantial amount of money on street lighting because they have to. It's just part of the deal that they need to recover their costs and their maintenance and so on and so forth. These lights, I think we've had in the history of the time these have been up, which is a lot longer than I've been here, a lot longer than 10 years, uh, we've had six lights burn out. That doesn't happen with the utility companies. So they burn out more frequently, and we do pay more frequently. When they burn out, are they easier to change and put a new bulb in, or have a these are I these are the, the, pretty the, simple. The, the cover comes off, and you change the bulb fitting. That's that's it's a cake. That's it's a piece of cake. Yeah. On uh, the utility tr uh, lines that, no. that are out there, it's major. I that watched that gets it. to be a pretty big deal depending on the fixture. Right. Yeah. Thank you. And these are called uh, decorative fitting, uh, decorative lights. That's just because that's what the catalog says. And that was what the original original that agreement threw was. Me for, uh, yeah, it's it's different. Like uh, there's white white fixtures which are different. Uh, there's lumin different types of luminaires. Uh, there are different types of standards and so forth. This just happens to be a single standing ornamental pole. That is to say, it's more decorative. Right. Thank you. You're okay. welcome. All right, Sonny, you had a question for Mr. Yeah, Welch. Right. I'm aware of the town of Manchester or the city of Manchester change their street lighting to LED. Why doesn't Hampton ask Unitil to put LED lights in to get, give us a, a, a cost amount? You know, uh, if they put LED, well, the cost should go down substantially. Well, it, you misunderstand how they build street lights. Street lights are built on a lumen daylight schedule. They have a schedule that's approved by the Public Utilities Commission that costs you so many cents per hour to light that fixture regardless of what's in it. It doesn't make any difference. There's no standard uh, lighting schedule for different types of yeah. fixtures. Well, it would make a lot of sense if the whole town went LED. It would. And if and you, if you would, owns them, so. If you would care to pay for it, the utility would be well, happy to do it. for it anyway. Uh, no, no, you don't understand. <laughs> the utility company, when we changed to... Uh, from the regular mercury luminaires to the high-pressure sodium luminaires, 
the town had to pay for that. Had to pay for the installation, had to change for the, <coughs> for the makeover of the fixtures. All that was charged to the town. So oh, it sounds like it's a negotiation that's on the table. Actually, no, it's in their rate structure. So we don't negotiate that, we have to pay it. So if you want to go to the additional types of luminaires, there was a schedule for that, and we'd have to pay that. Okay. The, other, the question I had about the beach. Well, that's what we're talking uh, about. Is, does the beach precinct have an advertising budget to bring people? How many people come in from out of town to look at the decorative lighting? I don't think they come into town. I don't know. I wouldn't be able to answer that question. <laughs> you'd have to ask. Millions. Some, yeah, I think you'd have to ask. Sonny, have you seen this lighting? It's not, not no. it's not Christmas tree. It's not Christmas tree lighting. Light don't be mis. You know, don't <laughs> please don't go down the wrong rat hole here. When okay. somebody says decorative lighting, it's not Christmas lights. It's a street light, okay, on a pole. So, anything else, Sonny, about uh, this one article, Tim? Which is called decorative in the catalog. Anyway, Mr. Chairman, I hope that the town manager can stay where he is for the rest of these one articles, so that we can be more quickly informed. And, and save time going oh, forward. Oh, that would be wonderful. Okay, uh, any further discussion on this? Yeah, I oh. just have a couple of quick questions. Go ahead, ask the, ask, please ask the town manager. Mr. Manager, do you have any guesstimate on the cost difference between decorative and non-decorative? <laughs> I could pull out the schedule and, and actually do some calculations for you. What would be uh, a gut? I would say we're probably, because we have no amortization on this, it's a straight purchase, right. okay? Once it's done, uh, we're probably paying two or three cents a night to, to light these. No, no, I meant in terms of uh, the actual acquisition of the decorative light versus the acquisition of the non-decorative light. Well, the, if, if you're talking about a luminaire on top of a telephone pole, um, it depends upon the size of the fitting, but you, you, would, you would probably start somewhere in the area of five to seven hundred or a thousand dollars per fixture. Okay. Yeah, and, and that's for the small ones. And then, you know, as you go up to the 55,000 lumens and above, you're probably talking $2,500 a, a fixture. That includes, of course, mounting and it's, it's delightful. So the def decorative versus non decorative is 500 to 2,500 per pole? It could very well be, depending upon what you're How many poles is this going to address, approximately? I can't, I think there's seven on each street. Seven, okay. Yeah. So it's a reasonable number. I mean, we could actually maybe do an extra street if we went non-decorative. Well, if you if you go with the existing luminaires, hmm. it will not be, and you, you you can ask, we have a former police officer, the Hampton Police Department here, uh, who's currently a police officer in another department. Uh, they would sooner have these streets well lit. I would as well, but my question is more decorative yours. and non-decorative. That's the only cost thing I wanted to get a sense of. Well, the decorative, it's a, it's a title. Right. Can, these, we, these can, we get a, can we get the same illumination without the title for less money? That's the question. Well, it's it's the type of fixture, and that's what we're that's we're we're, we're trying to do uniform fixtures, so we don't have all these mm. non-uniform parts that we have to stock. Now you presented this as a means of us actually saving money over time. Right? Over time, that's correct. Right. But yet we haven't touched the stuff in you know eight or nine years, right? We haven't touched it because we haven't had the money to do it. Right. Why? Why suddenly now? I guess is the. It needs to be why done. Why did we do it last year or two years ago? Larger years crowds of people. We have less police officers to uh -huh. police the the beach. Uh, it's it's essential for public safety. Thank you. Thank you, okay. Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. Fred, go ahead, Mike. Aren't these fixtures similar to the? Bridge going up to Newmarket on 108 that they redid, realigned. Well, they're and, it, and that, that black pole. These what? aren't hanging fixtures. These are straight oh, fixtures with straight, a globe. On straight top. up with a globe, but right. it, but sim that's a decorative light fixture up there that lights that bridge over the from the bay. Over the go, bay going into Exeter. Yeah, they're, they're so decorative the state shut them off. Well, <laughs> because they couldn't afford to. <laughs> we, can't, we, we can't keep up with the state. Either. Well, but their maintenance was too high on those, and they, they regretted putting them in. They should have put in the type fixtures that we did. Yeah. It was but, too awesome. But they're, to they're, they're similar. <laughs> yeah. You learned your lesson after you put them up, I guess. Wow. They should have asked the question. <laughs> yeah, these, with, I, the word decorative, it's just a word, because I can tell you these are not that decorative. Okay, they're a pole with a light on the top. Yeah. It costs extra money. Can we just vote and move this thing? <clears throat> okay, we have a motion by Regina, seconded by Steve Henderson. All those in favor of recommending this warrant article? 
Please raise your hand. Okay. David, I'm going to call the names out for you so you can write these down. David, yes. Mike Plouffe, yes. Steve LeBranch, yes. Steve Henderson, yes. Regina Barnes, yes. Sonny Kravitz, yes. Those in the name, opposed. Ginny Bridal Russell. Those not recommended. Does not recommend. <coughs> Brian Lapham does not recommend. Timothy Jones does not recommend. Abstained. Okay. Do you have that, Barbara? I I have it too because it's got to go on the warrant. Yeah. Okay. So how many? What do you have for a total, Fred? Recommend six to recommend, three not to recommend, no abstentions. 